Hare Krishna everybody, welcome to Sri Dham Mayapur. In this video, we will show you where you can stay here in Sri Dham Mayapur. It can be a little bit challenging to know where you can stay if you don't know the place, if you're not familiar with the place, so it also can be challenging if you know the place. But in this video, we will show you what we know about where you can stay here in Sri Dham Mayapur. Sri Mayapur is a beautiful place located between two rivers and it has the ISKCON campus with the Temple of Vedic Planetarium TOVP at its heart. The campus has several guest houses available at different prices. In this video our goal is to give you an overview of these guest houses and provide helpful tips on how to book them. Additionally, we will explore alternative stays outside of the ISKCON campus. Also, we will provide you with an idea of how you can rent apartments, short or long term, in Mayapur. Links to these resources will be available in the video description. So, here we are in front of Gadabhavan. Here is the reception where you can, or the office where you can book four guest houses here in Trida Mayapur. It's um, Gadabhavan, Ishudyan Bhavan, Chakra Building, and Conch Building. But, special rule, you can only book, the booking is only open 60 days before your date you want to come. This is available also online, you can book online, you can book in person, you can call. Guest houses, of course, are available in different price ranges. Here in Gadabhavan, for example, you have simple rooms for 550 till more luxury rooms, 2,700 rupees. And we learned one more important information. There are sometimes, by good luck, emergency rooms available. That means if you don't have a room and stand here in Gadabhavan, seven o'clock in the morning, you may have luck to have rooms which are canceled um, and you can have a room for today. Seven o'clock in the morning here, Gadabhavan, and you may have luck to get a room. Here we are in front of Ishodian Bhavan. Um, it is one of the biggest guest houses here in Sri Mayapur. And let's see if we can have a glimpse inside. Ishodian Bhavan is one of the best guest houses you can book on ISKCON campus. In the moment, it's getting a lot of renovated for you, so they make it ready for Kartik and upcoming festivals. The rooms you can book here um, are the price range between 900 and 4,400 rupees. Um, depends on your budget and um, what is available. Some rooms will have a good view, even on the TVP. It's the special party for Sadam you can have at Ishodian Baban for lunch and for dinner. So how is it outside here? Yeah, it's nice. They have nice little gardens, huge champa tree, flowers. And you're very close to the temple. You're very, very close to the temple. Mangal Arati, no excuses for Mangal Arati. You're in five minutes there, roll out of bed of Ishodian and Haribo. I mean, take shower first. And then they can meet you there? Of course. So we just met um, Vani Mataji. Maybe you know her from Hare Krishna TV. They are staying here in um, Ishodian Bhavan and maybe you can tell us how is your stay, especially in Ishodian Bhavan, but also of course in Sri Mayapur. <laughs> Hare Krishna dear devotees, this stay is amazing, it's clean, hygienic, safe and yeah, it's amazing, it's all for Upad Mercy, it's good, nice. Thank you, very Thank much. you so much, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Here we are at Gita Bhavan. You can find rooms in the price range between 500 and 2,500 rupees. Um, also, you can find here dormitory rooms where you can have a shared uh, room with a lot of people, about 20 people, I think, you can have here in a dormitory room. It is very close to everything. You see TOVP right behind us, the Chandradaya Mandir next to it, five minutes walk. Also, here you have um, lunch facilities and maybe also dinner. And let's have a look inside the rooms. Nice 
view. Nice view. Here you can see green. The greenery of Monsoon Mayapur. Oh, nice, nice to hear. We, we, we actually make a video about um, the accommodations okay. and we just look at Gita Bhavan. How was your experience here in Gita Bhavan? How you like it? It's basically a best place to for devotees so that basically uh, Prabhupada said that like, we are giving the facilities so that devotees can access our facilities and have a great devotional life. <laughs> so it's simple, but you. It's simple and a luxury as well. <laughs> it's best, best. There is a big AC hall. There are big theaters. And it's it's amazing. It's an amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for for your spontaneous. <laughs> um, right now there is a youth camp here in the Gita Bhavan, and um, yeah. Very enlightening, um, energetic. Many atmosphere. young people came many, here. Many young people came here. So it's also full. It's full. <laughs> here in Gita Bhavan, they also have a huge prasadam hall, and this hall can be used for prasadam. Usually, they have daily lunch prasadam, and they also have a stage. In the moment, um, they're cleaning the stage from a big program. So if you want to have your yatra here, I'm sure it can be arranged somehow um, here in Gita Bhavan. Come and visit Mayapur. So here we are in front of Nityananda Kutir. Nityananda Kutir and Goranga Kutir have very simple budget rooms for 200 rupees with a common bathroom outside. You can call the number or come in personal here to book your room. As you walk along the Bhaktivedanta main road, stretching from Hulagat to Yoga Pit, you will find numerous hotels and guest houses. Many of the Gaudiya Mats also have their own guest houses, which are worth considering. While some of these accommodations can be found online, most of them require booking by a phone or in person up and arriving in Mayapur. These are huge windows. Yes, but I didn't want to fall out. What is this here, Pradyumna? This place belongs to a friend of us. His name is Gopinat. He's unfortunately not here in the moment, but he's building like a guest house kind of thing with, I think, five rooms. Uh, there's also a restaurant coming up on the ground floor and here in the front, he has a big place for yoga, birthdays, weddings, parties. One can rent the hall also. He said he will open in Radastami. That's 20... End of September. End of September. There will be an opening of this. It's already online. You can already book it actually from September, October onwards. And I think it will be a very nice place. It's a little bit outside from the campus, like two kilometers from the campus. You need to have a scooter, bicycle, toto to go to get there. But I think it will be a very nice and peaceful place here, right next to the Chalangi. Chalangi River is right there. And yeah, it's a nice area here to stay and live. I think it's a, a good spot. A good hidden, hidden secret spot coming up very soon. It's under construction, but it will come up very soon. Is there? There's also a supermarket not so very far. Just the road in front. You'll come by it when you're coming here. What, what you can buy there? What do you, what, what you like to buy there, Pamela? Juice. Juice. Some soda. Soda. Okay. What else? Mom said. What's your chips. favorite thing? Chips. What are the chips? Ice cream. Right next to it, like 50 meters, 100 meters in this direction. If you prefer staying in an apartment, it's good to familiarize yourself with the different areas of Mayapur, as apartments are scattered throughout the town. On the ISKCON campus, you have the housing area, which is very close to the temple. About 5 to 15 minutes walking distance from the temple, you will find places like Gornagar in the north and Saraswati Nagar in the south. 
Some buildings are located farther away and you may need to use a toto, bicycle or scooter to reach them. There is a wide variety of apartments, ranging from small and simple units to gated complexes with luxurious apartments. Renting apartments, whether for short or long-term stays, can be challenging, since many are not advertised online. A helpful resource is the Facebook group Mayapur Rentals and Sales, where some apartments are listed for daily rates or long-term rentals. However, based on our experience, the best way to find an apartment is when you are actually in Mayapur. Though Sridhar Mayapur is becoming a popular tourist destination with thousands of visitors daily, we are confident that still you can find your comfortable stay here in Sridhar Mayapur to explore and adventure in this magical place. Hare Krishna. I am from Kolkata. I am a Bengali, but I am coming to Mayapur for the first time. Oh, nice. But, uh, before coming, today first time. Today first time in my life, and I have come before. Uh, before coming here, I uh, did some research work on YouTube, and I found the contents on your channel so interesting and so fantastic. I truly uh, appreciate it. Are emergency emergency rooms available? I would like to book a room for a friend. What's that? Number, side. Number. So here we are in front. Oh, too late. Okay, Buzuma. We sind bei. Okay. Here, my ladies and gentlemen, we are at. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly know this engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. <laughs> <laughs> 